dispatch to a uh, to grass fire near a gas station that has a lot of potential to get into that structure and cause a big problem. Hey, we got uh, three different sets, and we have. Uh, we need the next in engine to come in off of Arden behind the lumberjack. It's going towards a uh, outbuilding. Hey, is he starting it? Yeah. Hey, PD! Command engine 20. We need to shut down light rail. What are you doing, man? <laughs> hey, he's... Managing 20, it is not in any structure at this time, but we need the next engine to come in off of Arden, right behind uh, the lumberjack building. We got patrol 14 accessing the left. Hey, we're gaining access from the uh, lumberjack off of Arden. Hey, that was the can he was using to light all those fires. That can, yeah. Make sure that we keep him in custody, okay? Command engine 20. Good. Yeah, I think we're gotten it now. Let's uh we can keep it to engine 20, engine 14, engine 15. So we had a a, a grass fire with three or four different uh, starts. We have witnesses on scene who identified the individual. The cops were here and they took him down right here on the light rail tracks and uh, brought him into custody. Looks like we have the fire pretty well knocked down with our patrol units and engine 20 on the other side. So right now we're in the mop up phase and we should be out of here pretty shortly. We're going into uh, it's kind of a border call between us and Rialto for a uh, TC over the side. Result of a police pursuit. Hey, Two twenty two, we're on scene. Vehicle's gonna be over the side, probably a hundred feet down. Northbound two fifteen just south of the two ten. I see two twenty nine. Anybody in there? Right, Mondo. Anybody in? I'm oh, sorry, two twenty nine. I see 229. For PD, um, they did confirm one patient got out of the vehicle and ran. They're currently looking for him over here in the first of office of the hotel. So they do have one person out on foot, and they're not sure if there was a second person in the vehicle. Just look around, make sure no one got ejected. I think it just hit right there. See the big old divot? I'm not seeing any blood trail or anything either, Cap. Medic engine 17. I think we're good. Well, it looks like they were in pursuit. Rialto PD was in pursuit of somebody in this vehicle here. It looks like they didn't even stop, probably they just launched directly over the side of the, the hill here. Came to rest right here. And uh, according to PD, they, the person got out and fled the scene, just one single occupant. PD apprehended the guy, and uh, they're taking him back to their police car. We're going to go check up and follow up with the patient, see if he has any injuries.
Is he a TOA? Disney. You got that? Disney. Oh, this is Espanol or English, mejor? Espanol. Okay, ¿qué pasó? No, no, no. ¿Qué pasó con el carro que donde andaba? No sé. Alguien manejó y se volteó allá y yo caí allá. Okay. Hey. Okay, okay, no te muevas, no te muevas. I gotta hear what you're talking about there. No, no, no. Acá me golpeó. No te muevas, okay? Está bien, espérame un poco. Head pain is complaining about the contusion he's got on the right rear. That's what he's complaining about the most. He admitted he had been drinking, he launched off that hill, and maybe rolled at the bottom. You know, if he was able to get out, all that adrenaline pushed him who knows how far in, and then they were able to catch him. Again, he is in pain, so that's probably what slowed him down also. Nothing major that I could see right now, but again, that's why we're, we're just having him transport and get checked out, make sure everything internally is okay. Thank you guys very much. All right, we are checking an arson attempt. It sounds like a male tried to light a piece of wood on fire, but then the supplement just came in and said that this person is trying to light a dead squirrel on fire, and the cops are coming with us. That might be the RP over there. The RP is Karen. Does she have a phone in her hand? She's not looking at us. No. Up here, maybe, in front of us? Yeah, that could be Karen. Did you call us? Okay. Did you see someone lighting a dead squirrel on fire? All right, we'll continue to look. Thanks. She's not Karen, and she didn't see a dead squirrel being yeah, lit on fire. Was he lighting it, or was he cooking it? Question. That's a good question. Is this a dead squirrel to the right? That's a dead squirrel. Did the police department send you guys over here? Yeah. Almost there, it's over here trying to start a fire in this corner. It was just that dead squirrel though. Dead squirrel in the grass. And I stomped it out, and there was a woman here on the phone with the cops. I told the dude, you gotta go. All right, we'll go try to track him down. He's got a toe, like he's toe with him. All right. All right, let's go up here and look for him. There he is right there. Hey, bud. How come you're lighting a dead squirrel on fire? Well, because I don't need a proper burial. You trying to cremate it? We, we can't be lighting stuff on fire, bud. Because you're, you were also lighting grass, the guy said, right up against their building. Well, the cops want to have a conversation with you. What's going on, man? Well, uh, I'm trying to get the guys out of the So here's the deal, bud. We have your name. We know you're lighting stuff on fire. If your name comes up or we see you around any fire, you will be arrested, OK? I just want to make that very clear to you, all right? OK. So there's nothing we can really do as far as a case for arson, because he didn't burn anything else. However, uh, we will document his name. And if anything else comes up with his face or his name, we'll know that he's been setting, setting things on fire. Uh, 40-year-old male, Mesa police are on scene, it's secure to enter. Patient is very intoxicated in front of the laundromat. I came out as a welfare check just because he was sleeping on the bench and he was super highly intoxicated. So. To get him medical attention. If he doesn't want it, we're going to leave because we don't have anything criminal on him right now. What's your name? Yeah. Did you guys get an ID? Why are you guys so. What the is this? Get the out of here. Let's see your ID, please. Bye. Let's see your ID. For what right? You're intoxicated in public. What is the. Here. What is there the common cause for it? Drinking alcohol is the usual common cause for intoxication. So that gives you a 
Right. All I'm looking for is an ID, sir. What That's is your problem? Your problem? My problem is, is that we were called out here to check you and make sure oh, you're okay. Fine. It's called get your ass out of here. Can we check your vital signs to make sure you're okay? Hell, I ain't gonna take we just want to check your blood sugar. Uh, and you're a person, you little white boy. Oh, okay. None of that I'm stuff hurts me, like man. You. you don't have to like me. I don't well, have to bye. like you. Bye. Bye for the shit, Tyrone. So you want just the police officers to deal with you? It's much easier to go. It's much. Game two. Okay, we're not gonna deal with him. We'll let you guys deal with him. Well, we have nothing. This is a welfare check. I really don't want to fight with this guy. It's just, just to get a blood sugar. You know what I mean? You can say whatever you want. Doesn't bother me. I know. Whatever we're... you do doesn't bother me either. Good. Then let us check your vital signs and your blood sugar, and we'll be on our way. Ever let you check? Okay. You're a All right, we're gonna leave you alone. Be careful, okay? All right, have a good day. You gotta change your ways, boy. See ya. We had an intoxicated subject, but he was alert and oriented times four. He knew where he was, knew his name. He's just being kind of a jerk. Um, apparently, I need to change my ways, so I guess I have to self-reflect and uh, try to be better. So we'll go on to the next one, and if he has any other problems, he'll call 911 or somebody will call for him. Penis is out. Is he peeing? Yep. He's yeah. under arrest for DC exposure. So um, instead of just walking off and leaving, he decided to walk right around the corner from where the police officers were and urinate on the side of the building. Hopefully, he'll go on and uh, get help with whatever's going on in their life. There was some guy chasing two females, and then one of the neighbors heard a scream and a gunshot. So they called it in. Officers arrived on scene. They did contact the male subject who has some blood on his pants. We don't know if he was shot or if we don't even know if it's a gunshot wound, but they're asking us to come evaluate him right now. Okay. I wish to speak to media. They wish to fire upon a Mexican male on arm. One of the first officers coming here sees him running this way, and the witnesses are like, that's the guy down there. We didn't really have any more information. I rode up here and contacted him. I could see that he was bleeding from his leg, and then he started hollering about, you know, police shot him, but that's not what happened. But So we're still investigating, and that's what we'll do, and we'll talk to him more down the hospital. But he wasn't saying who shot him to us when he first got here. So. We're going to check you out, man. Get you no. out of the hospital. You fire upon the Mexican male without hesitation, without question. We're going to help you out, man. No, you do not. That's why I'm in handcuffs and restraints without hesitation or restraint. I know my rights. I wish to speak I, upon I any Mexican representative. I do not wish any affliction upon me. You just see the one right there? No, I don't see it. Oh, it's on the other side. We got to roll him over. Any help? There you go. I fire upon nobody. I acknowledge nothing. Fire upon me is not due to affliction. This looks like that one wound on his leg. A U.S. citizen of the United States. All right, partner. I, I, would, I do not cause any like infliction. I have no weapon in my hand. Let's get him on there, and then we'll finish cutting off his clothes, and we'll get an IV on him. You cannot cause any infliction yeah. upon the male. Yeah, let's, uh, here, we're going to, yep, perfect, just like that, partner. Let's every representative know that they are racist. Inflict upon a U.S. citizen of the United States. He's pretty irate, he appears to be under the influence of something. We don't know what happened here, but we know he's got a gunshot wound. We're going to try and assess that a little more, get a set of vital signs. We'll start an IV, give him some fluids, and we'll get him over to the trauma center, and they can uh, take a look at it a little more from there. Arrest! Illegally! Arrest! There's a victim of the United States of America! All right, bro.
guys out. That's what we're here we for, man. We believe we have an impairment case here, but we had the manager come out and say this former employee potentially is prone to strokes. So I just ran him through HGN. Um, he, was, he did not pass HGN. We haven't run him through any other tests yet, but because of this comment about strokes, we just want to rule that out. If you guys say that's not the case, then we'll run and we'll finish FSTs and we'll go from there. Smell like alcohol? That's what I can't smell. Uh, could be prescription. Um, he did make comments that he was, um, uh, he, him, he took down multiple beers at one o'clock today prior to coming to work, which is probably why he was terminated from the job. Oh, they got fired? Yeah. 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 Can't kind of work drinking. Yeah. Kind That's, of frown on that. Yeah. Gentlemen are going to check you out for anything medically wrong with you, okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. But we want to ensure that, okay? Okay, that's fine. You got any medical problems? No, no, no. No heart problems, seizures? A little high high blood pressure. A little high blood pressure? Yeah. I thought I'd be. Any drugs or alcohol today, tonight? Oh, yeah, I had a couple of beers. A couple of beers? How many is a couple? Just a couple? Oh, no, three or four. No. Three or four? How long ago was that? Uh, a couple hours ago. A couple hours ago? Yeah. OK. They said they fired me today, so. Well, they fired you here today? Yeah, I'm kind of pissed off. Yeah. Understandable. Your name's Curtis, right? Yes, sir. Why would one of your store employees say that you're prone to strokes? That's what we want to ensure that you're not in right now. You're not having a stroke episode. Oh, no, I never had a stroke. No. no okay. Yeah. So level level with us. Why would she come out and say that? I have no idea. I never had a stroke. Okay. Only I'm medical. Okay. Yeah, it's already ready to go. Only medical history is high blood pressure. That's it. That's all I got. Any complaints medically right now? No, hell no. No. They want to fire you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Interval, yep. The only medical history you have is high blood pressure? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's all I got. I feel so, you know, I feel so bad. Five years ago, this is coming. And it fired me today. Okay. Do you want to complete this test? Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go where you're going. Okay. Well, I go your own. Okay. Why don't I read driving? Just going to take a deep breath and blow it. It's like you're blowing a balloon. Deep breath and blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. So, got this gentleman here. Apparently, he came to work tonight here at the 99 cent store. Apparently, he's assistant manager and uh, apparently showed up to work and appears to be under the influence of alcohol. Got to smell it on him. So he apparently was terminated from his job here. And the workers there called PD before he was able to leave in his vehicle. And they got him stopped here when he was trying to leave. So they wanted us to just check him out medically and make sure that he's, he's OK. Looks like he's going to. Probably be placed under arrest for driving under the influence. I did drive it, though. Second place under arrest for driving under I didn't drive. I'll be an actual physical control. Super extreme. Was it? You tell me. I didn't two drive. Five I said 2 5. That's what I said. Two five. I called my wife to be right home. Uh, I wasn't driving. Hey, guys, thank you. Um, we'll be able to mark off that because of that statement. Responding right now to 
Pineapple Willies. Got reports of a female. Female caller advising a male in a black sedan under the influence of an unknown substance. A patient being located in a black sedan. In the parking lot area. Copy that. We have our rescue responding to it, so we'll be assisting them in this call. Beach and Surf. You get that? Beach and Surf. Relocation. Beach and Surf what? Relocation. It's not Pineapple Willies. It's going to be Beach and Surf. So our rescue has our medic, Andrew Puglikos. He's going to be in command of this scene. We're just here for assistance. He's talking. No. He's breathing. Hey, he's fine. He's over here. Stand there for a second. Right. Right. Why do I have to stand no, somewhere? Because, because this is your dad, who's a grown man. Right. He can take fine, care man. of himself. Exactly. Just stand step there. Step back. I can stand right here. No, step no you can't. Okay, I'll unless you right want to go to jail. Unless you want to wait in the cuffs in the back of my car. Because you're impeding in what we're trying to figure out what's going on. What are you trying to do? got about two seconds. What are you trying to do? Yeah, if you don't move, oh, you're, not gonna be no. up, you're not gonna be all up on these officers in the Is someone videoing this? Thank you. Thank no. you. Move. What are you gonna take me to jail for? Step out of the way. way for right what? There, because we're trying to figure out. Am I doing something? Am I doing something? Go sit hey, down. Chill, chill out, chill out. Go chill sit chill out. Chill out. Chill, 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 chill out. Back chill out. Three. We don't back. Two. What do you want me to do? Arrest him. What am I getting handcuffed for? What Being I do? Being detained for interfering with the investigation. For interfering what? Yeah. It needs double cuffs. Yeah. So the son was upset, and PD stepped in. That's why we have him here. Uh, we got him out of the way, kind of caught on the situation now. We can actually do our jobs over here. I'm okay right now. You just I'm been fine. drinking. I'm fine. You just been drinking. Yes, sir. Working, okay. working hard, taking a nap. They busted my ass, man. Okay. Okay. I'm down here building some apartments for you guys. Bring some more people here. You know. We, we appreciate you. Somebody, somebody called 911 because they saw you possibly sleeping or passed out. They weren't sure. Sleep. They just wanted to make sure you were okay. It's awful. Okay. You I'm so it. sorry for you. No, 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 you're fine. But uh, medically, no, no chest pain, no, no respiratory sir. problem. You're just taking a rest. Huh? No, sir. All right. All right, sir. That's awesome. Take Come it on. easy, man. Here's you got, I love you guys, yeah. man. There's All right. There's your wallet. Hey, man. Thanks, guys. Of course. Damn. Man. You really? Any, yeah, you get everybody, sir. If you feel any type of way, just call us back and we'll come yes, out sir. here and take you to the hospital, okay? I don't feel bad. I'll you. No, okay. don't feel bad. Take it easy. I don't feel bad, man. You're, you're all good, okay? Thanks, man. You will give me a right. medical release for yeah. it. Yeah, good luck, okay? You guys good got luck. the forms? Yeah, would you give me a medical yeah, release? Okay. Just get a medical release form real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Are we good? Yeah, you're good. Right. Hey, Dan. Appreciate you going on. I'm good. So he was just uh, sleeping in his cars all day. He's been out here working. Uh, he said he hasn't been drinking today, but he wasn't driving. He was just taking a nap, and some people were concerned and called it in. And his son was here, a little upset that the cops and everybody was here. But uh, he's refusing any evaluation, and our medic says that he's okay and going to get a medical release on him and turn him loose. Just your signature right here. Where you want? Sign right. your name right here. All right, here you go. Yeah. And then uh, today's date. And like you said, anything changes, 
you know, you start feeling ill, you need help from us, call 911. We'll come right back, man. We're right on the corner, not, okay? I'm not sick, I'm not ill. All right. All right. All right, sir, this coffee's for you. Thank you. All right, have a safe night, okay? You do the same? God bless you.